3.6 million years ago in Lately, Tanzania, three early humans walked through wet volcanic ash and when the nearby volcano erupted again, subsequent layers of ash covered and preserved the oldest known footprints of early humans. Welcome back to our channel guys and today we are going to talk about the famous Lately footprints. One of the most important aspects of human evolution has always been the evolution of bipedalism. Whenever we speak about our ancestors, the question about walking upright is always asked. And here we are again discussing about another controversial topic in regards to human evolution. Bipedalism is a key adaptation that shaped human evolution, yet the timing and nature of its evolution remain unclear. The oldest unequivocal evidence of upright walking in the human lineage are footprints discovered at Lately, Tanzania in 1978 by paleontologist Mary Leakey and her team. Lately is the name of an archaeological site in northern Tanzania where the footprints of three hominins, ancient human ancestors and most likely Australopithecus afarensis were preserved in the ash fall of a volcanic eruption some 3.63 to 3.85 million years ago. They represent the oldest hominin footprints yet discovered on the planet. Lately, hominin footprints are arranged in two 27.5 meters or 89 foot long trails created in moist volcanic and later hardened because of desiccation and chemical change. Three hominin individuals are represented and are called G1, G2 and G3. The letter G is because the site they were discovered from was named Site G. Other footprints were also found on other sites such as Site A and Site S, but to whom the footprints belong to is still unclear. Coming back to G1, G2 and G3, apparently G1 and G2 walked side by side and G3 followed along behind, stepping on some but not all of the 31 footprints of G2. The early humans that left these prints were bipedal and had big toes in line with the rest of their foot. This means that these early human feet were more human-like than ape-like, as apes have highly divergent big toes that help them climb and grasp materials like a thumb does. The footprints also show that the gait of these early humans was heel strike which means that the heel of the foot hit first followed by toe off where the toes push off at the end of the strike, the same way modern humans walk. The close spacing of the footprints is evidence that the people who left them had a short stride and therefore probably had short legs. It is not until much later that early human evolved longer legs, enabling them to walk farther, faster and cover more territory each day. But how were scientists so sure that the footprints were made by our early ancestors? Well, the shape of the feet along with the length and configuration of the toes show that the laterly footprints were made by an early human. The only known early human in the region at the time was Australopithecus afarensis. In fact, fossils of Australopithecus afarensis were found nearby to the footprints and in the same sediment layer, telling scientists that the species was in the area at the time the footprints were left. In addition, some scholars have ventured to argue that the footprints are from an adult male and female G2 and G3 and a child G1. Others say they were two males and a female. While some suggested that G1 is a different hominin from the other two, saying that G1 walked at a different time from G2 and G3 when the ash was sufficiently different in texture producing differently shaped impressions or the differences are a result of foot size or sexual dimorphism. Some analysts have noted that the smaller of the two clearest trails bears telltale signs that suggest whoever left the prints was burdened on one side 
perhaps a female carrying an infant on her hip. While the detailed interpretation of the prints remains a matter of debate, they remain an extraordinary and fascinating fossil find preserving a moment in prehistoric time. Coming to the preservation of the footprints. At the time of excavation, the footprints were buried between a few centimeters to 27 centimeters, which is 11 inch deep. After excavation, they were reburied to preserve them. But the seeds of an acacia tree were buried within the soil and several acacias grew in the region to heights of over 2 meters before researchers. Investigation showed that although those acacia roots did disturb some of the footprints, burying the footprints was overall a good strategy and did protect much of the trackway. A new conservation technique was begun in 1994, consisting of application of a herbicide to kill all the trees and bush, the placement of a biobarrier mesh to inhibit fruit growth and then a layer of lava boulders. Preserving the footprints was a really good initiative. To add to the discussion, the hominin prints are not the only footprints preserved in the wet ash farm. Animals walking through the wet ash included elephants, giraffes, rhinoceros, and a wide variety of extinct mammals. In all, there are 16 sites with footprints in Laterly, the largest of which has 18,000 footprints representing 17 different families of animals within an area of about 800 square meters or 8,100 square feet. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Do tell us what you thought of the video in the comment section down below and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.